what's happening guys it's your boy Jason welcome back for another fishing video so you know I go to work every day I stock shelves every day walk down the same aisles and I see this power bait it's uh, from Berkeley it's for catfish and I mean it looks like if I was a catfish bro I'd probably put my bib on come like eat this stuff like, I might even eat that stuff I don't know man nah I'm not gonna eat that stuff but it, it looks like the ideal catfish bait and the interesting part about it is apparently I'm the only one who thinks so because it never sells and I'm like you know at some point I knew I was gonna wind up buying it and I'm gonna take it out tonight and give it a shot and I'm hope, hoping maybe it'll work so I'm going to go to Old Pond where I used to live. It's about a mile walk in the woods, so hopefully I make it there alive. All kinds of snakes and critters in Florida. Everybody knows that. That's what we're known for. Might have to wrestle a few gators on the way there, you know. The usual. And um, I'm going to go with a uh, miniature combo. It's, it's a Zebco rod. And I bought a Abu Garcia reel for it. I usually use this to catch bait. Like if I go to a jetty, I'll put on little chunks of uh, frozen shrimp and catch croakers and stuff like that. Bait. And I'm going to take on an 8 pound catfish with that. And anybody who's caught catfish before, a channel catfish, knows that those suckers put up a fight. And this will be this would be a fight to remember if I can actually land this fish. I'm hoping so, man. I'm ready to get going, so let's head out there. So I'm making my way to this pond. And I'm seeing all kinds of weird stuff, man. There's like a table out here. I feel like I'm being watched. I can't see where I'm going. I'm gonna be so angry if I don't catch a fish today. God, there's trash everywhere. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna say. Home stretch. There's bugs hitting me. Alright, you guys, we're almost there. So, we made it here. All I hear is crickets and Katie did just, just screaming at each other. And um, I'm about to open up this bait and just give it a, a sniff to see if I'm afraid to, man. I know this is going to stink. <clears throat> Bro, I literally. Hold on. Okay. Okay, oh, dude, I can smell it everywhere. I'm all rigged up. Ready to send it out here? So, I've been out here for approximately two hours and um, haven't changed my bait once. I checked it twice. It's still on there. And uh, these bugs are about to drive me insane. I don't know how much more I could take of these bugs, man. But. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. Let's keep it up. I think I see the gator over there. He's 
eyeballing me. I'm afraid if I catch this fish that he's going to meet me at the shoreline and possibly take me with it. I hear fish busting all over the place. Alright, I'm approaching hour three, and um, as every minute ticks by, I'm getting a little bit more uh, afraid that I'm not going to catch anything with this bait, but we'll see. So this is promising. My bait's missing. I mean might be turtles but uh hey I take a turtle right about now pretty sure an ant just bit me on the pooch how how did he do it I caught one of the guys that won't shut up <laughs> that's when you know you got bored this is like the ultimate bass bait right here. I'm so tempted to put this little fella on there. It's a spring frog. I don't know. I don't know. I don't seem to be getting anything with the, the catfish bait, so I think I'm going to take a swing for a bass here. Got a fish on, fish on. and haven't caught anything so but I'm gonna come back tomorrow and uh, maybe I'll have better luck during the day so I'll see you guys tomorrow so I'm back out here it's uh there's like a massive turtle swimming around but uh it's like 108 degrees and it rained last night so it's so humid but you know as a fisherman we always want to catch the fish we go for, and I'm gonna do that. And uh, I brought chum. I put chum all over the water, trying to get them fired up. It's real hot, so they're probably sleeping on the bottom. So I'm gonna try and set it out as deep as I possibly can. And we're gonna see if I can't get some. The little fish are here. And uh, they're starting to get fired up, but hopefully they'll smell that. All right, guys, let's see what we can do. So, unfortunately, my, uh, I didn't really think about this, but there's actually steam coming off of this concrete, and, uh, I left my bait laying on the concrete, and all of that stuff in there melted together, so, I have to take it back to the, to the casa, and put it in the freezer, and then I'm gonna try a different pond, I guess, um, I guess this pond just wasn't for me anymore, man. It's kind of depressing, but I'm going to try a different pond to see if I can't get a catfish out of it. So, see you there. This is where I caught my first fish. So, and uh, this is another place I know that I'll catch a lot of catfish, so I'm ready to get this underway. So let's get this done. Got a baby gator here. That little thing is. Try 
try again. I'm gonna throw on this uh, bluegill. It's a big one. Let's see if I can't get a bass with this guy. Got something big on this thing. I got something big on. I saw, I don't know, something big. Maybe the gator. It's a giant catfish. What did you catch, a giant catfish. What? Yeah. Woo, buddy. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is what I came here for. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Can we take a picture? Yes, ma'am. Right here, bro. This was, this was last week. Nice. Take a picture of that one, babe. Look at that. That's what's in our little lake. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on, hold your fish up a second. Yeah, he's Because my wife ain't going to catch him with that uh, fish? Yeah, no, I caught him with some uh, some Berkeley bait. Oh, okay. I fished, I fished yesterday and last night for... Sorry, I'm zeroing in on you. Beautiful. I fished for hours last night okay. at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning trying to get it. this guy. Look at that gator. He's coming. Then that gator's coming up behind you. Sure is. We got a No, but he swallowed my hook, so he's going to have to live with the hook. I hope it rusts out. I always hate that. It's a freshwater hook, so it should rust out. Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't eat anything out of this lake. It's a nasty lake. Yeah, it's been a lot of runoff. I got it on video here. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Pick this stuff up at your local fish market. Not fish market. Man, I can't even think right right now. I'm so excited. I fished for, man, some 10 odd hours trying to catch this fish. This is the stuff you can get it from a bait shop, Bass Pro, Camping World, Gander Outdoors, anything. Just, I'm telling you guys, this is the stuff that was every bit worth the wait.